Hey, 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 scrappy people, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with Sketchy Sunday number 14. Today I'm using the Rooted Collection and you can see the sketch up there in the top left. So I have these photos from my vacation. Uh, I'm working my way through my vacation photos all of the sudden, I'm inspired. Um, and they are of giant monstera leaves and my bestie and I are both uh, crazy plant ladies, so we definitely posed with the giant monstera leaves because I have a monstera and it is not thriving. <laughs> and so I am living out my jealousy through these photos and wishing good things for my actual monstera. But I have these two photos and they worked perfectly with this sketch. So I am starting by putting down all of the fun little angled pieces of paper on the edges of the layout. I obviously transformed the 12 by 12 sketch into a um, life crafted sketch. It worked out very well for this orientation. I may or may not have designed it that way. <laughs> I always try and make my sketches work for uh, orientations where you have to split the page down the middle as well, at least in general. For the most part, I try. So I've got all of my papers put down. I'm going to back these photos with this bright coral to lighten up the page a little bit or brighten it up, I should say, even though this was the last day of vacation. So both she and I are pretty coral ourselves. So it definitely brings out our tans. Although I will uh, say that we were surprisingly unsunburned for being a very pale uh, set of white ladies. <laughs> one of us being a ginger, neither of us got sunburned, which is pretty amazing, but we are definitely red toned. And so the, the coral definitely brings out our red tones here. So I am not distressing, but I'm using my fingers to sort of curl up the edges of these papers a bit. So what I have actually for this collection is I, a while back when the collection first came out, I created a ton of, um, embellishment clusters for this collection. And so rather than actually having um, standalone embellishments, I actually have a ton of embellishment clusters, uh, to work with for this collection, which is like it makes it easy to make the page look done quickly, but it was kind of hard to work it into this sketch and work it around these photos. So you can see I'm sort of auditioning a bunch of embellishment clusters that I have here. And I decided to go ahead and use some letter stickers and put down my large title before I start embellishing, even though I, I'm, I'm auditioning, but I'm like, oh, you know, I better put down <laughs> letter stickers otherwise I'm going to lose my space for my stickers or my title I should say. So I've got all of this stuff here I'm sorting it around I'm gonna pull out some gold foam letter stickers unfortunately my title is Monst or Monster Monstera I thought that that was clever until I tried to spell it and I ran out of T's so I took two L's and trimmed them and made them into T's I also no longer had O's, so I had to use zeros, which no one will ever know, but they are a little less wide, which worked out well because I did not have a lot of room. I had to work around those holes, but it worked out in the end. I don't love that the T's are divided, but they're, it's not as noticeable when you're just looking at the layout as it is when you're putting them together. <laughs> All right, so I've got my title. Now I can start working around it and you can see it took up a lot of space. So I have to uh, work around what little space I have left. I also got a little bit of adhesive on the background paper down there on the bottom. So I need to cover that up too. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm thinking here. These papers were printed um, at home on Epson Premium Presentation Paper, which makes them you can't pull things off of them the way that I often do with my papers that I print through Office Depot. So uh, that adhesive was not coming off, but you can see, aha, I fixed it. <laughs> it's gone. So I'm going to take this cluster and I'm going to stick it up here. So one of the things that I had to work around was these clusters are old enough that the adhesive is really adhered. So pulling off like these hearts was not going to happen. So I had to work around that as well. I do end up deconstructing a few of the clusters to pull off little bits and pieces. Um, 
towards the end so that I can have some hearts and some leaves and some flowers so I can take them back from the clusters and have some individual embellishments as well. I could have printed out more. That's the beauty of digital, but I had already like turned on the camera and was working. And also I was um, on a group chat call with a creative team while I was doing this too. So I, I couldn't like stop and go reprint things. So I just worked with what I have and it worked out well, except, oh man, I could not get this cluster to orient the way that I wanted it to. Like I wanted it to go up off the top of the page, but I just, ugh, I needed to move that keep going, keep growing. And I just went with it. I was like, you know what? We're just going to tear it apart and suffer the consequences because it needed to be a little bit lower than it was on the actual cluster to work with that photo. So now I'm happier with it. I really wanted to incorporate these big old paper clips, but all of that was just too much. It was too, too big of an embellishment cluster for the rest of this page, especially since I still need to add in my journaling lines down at the bottom. So I'm actually going to cut this four by six with these journaling labels. And I end up only using just one. I was going to use two, but I'm just going to use that top one because there's not enough room to layer two and there is no pulling up these photos at this point, but that's okay. I didn't really have too much to say anyway, except for that I wanted to steal one of these leaves and take it on the plane home, <laughs> propagate it, but uh, yeah, that was not gonna happen. It would not have done well. Okay, so I'm going to add this word bit and now I'm gonna start deconstructing some of these um, embellishment clusters a little bit to start I wanted this big old monstera leaf, obviously. So I'm gonna take that with the heart and stick it up at the top. And that, that takes that cluster and makes it a little less of a, like a circle and, and makes it a little bit more organic, which I definitely needed for this page. And then I did the same thing with another uh, monstera leaf and this flower, and then I'm gonna call it good. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. Love to see you over there as well. You can click through to the blog post in the description box below and see others, other examples with this sketch from the team, as well as download a PDF. All right, thank you.